This is part four of the Saber Pulse tutorial guide. If you haven't watched the first three parts, I suggest that you do. Um, in this section, we will be making a kick drum to keep the uh, beat of our song. Um, so let's get started. This is entitled Kick Drum, obviously. And there are sample drum kits available in the Wave channel for you to use. In my opinion, the kick drums on these kits are really weak and not very loud. I agree. The first big problem I was confronted with in LSDJ was how to make a really loud kick drum that you hear in a great deal of contemporary chiptune. The answer is to forget about the Wave channel for sample drums and create an analog kick drum using a pulse channel. Right, now you're probably screaming, but how? I'm I'm already using both of these channels for my bass line and lead melody. Or, how the hell do I create a drum from a pulse instrument? It's really easy. In your Pulse 1 channel, your PU1 channel, your bass line notes in each of the four phrases are only assigned to rows 2, 6, A, and E. What we're going to do is create a pulse channel instrument that sounds like a kick drum, and we're going to place it in rows 0, 4, 8, and C. Simply put, it'll sound like this. Kick, bass, kick, bass, kick, bass, kick, bass. So, go to your PU1 channel and in your uh, your first phrase. So, you're going to add um, you're going to add notes. Um, change this automatically, so uh, to 0, 2, because this will be your kick drum uh, instrument uh, and you're going to change it to C5 that's what it recommends um, and then just add it to 4 8 and C um, okay Okay, first go inside the first phrase in your baseline chain. Create a new instrument and place it in rows 0, 4, 8, and C. Make sure that the note you place is always C5. Go inside that instrument, make sure it is a pulse instrument, and name it kick. So select 0, 2, any 1, and name it kick. Okay. Set the envelope to F1. So tap up a couple times and tap left a couple times while holding A to change your envelope. Um, and set the Dave the the Dave the wave duty cycle to middle 50%. So set it just hold A and tap twice in the wave and that'll set it to 50%. Now go to the bottom of the screen and set the table to 0, 0. Just hold A and press right. Now navigate to the table screen as you would do with other screens by holding select and pressing right. As this is a simple tutorial, I'm not going to go into any detail with regards to tables right now, but this technique should give you a tiny taster of what tables are able to do. In the table screen, you'll see a lot of columns. We're going to go to the top far right cell and use the command column to choose command PF1. So you tap A, hold A, and hit right until you hit P. And then um, now edit the number column on the, the right hand side and use F and 1. Uh, this is the pitch command, and what we're, we are doing is pitching the pulse instrument right down to give it a punchy kick drum sound. If you press start to preview what you've done, you'll hear the kick is coming right before each of your bass notes. So... The kick sounds a little unruly at the moment. What we need to do is tame how long it plays by using the K command to kill the trail the kick seems to be leaving. Right at the bottom of the command column, place K00. 
You'll probably find it's best to put it at the second to last row on the column to avoid clicking. So come down, tap A, and hit right, or left rather, until you have a K in the, the E column here. And now if you play it, I don't know that it sounds much different, but um, I'm just going by what it says. Okay, so that your drum, so, okay, so that, that's your kick drum sorted on the phrase, on that phrase. All you need to do is make sure the kicks are present on each phrase that you're using. Once you've done this, head back to the song screen and press start to hear the kick drum, bass line, and lead melody all in action. Well, we only currently have it in our first phrase, so what we have to do is just go into each phrase and add it and it will go automatically. So 0, 4, 8. Ah. That's why. It wasn't, there was already a 0 there. Um, and your C column. Same thing again for phrase 3. Uh, it can actually do this a lot faster, which I should have mentioned earlier. Um, instead of, you can just scroll up and down instead of actually physically going back. Um, I like to do this just because it and keep track uh, so I know I didn't make any mistakes. Uh, so 0, 4, 8, C. Go down again to phrase 4, 0, 4, 8, and C. Okay. Now, let's hear it all together with our bass line, our lead melody, and now our kick drum that we've added. Um, any skipping that you hear is just due to my recording software. Um, it, actually, your song sh shouldn't sound like that, but you should get the overall effect. Uh, please note that this is isn't the definitive method of creating a kick drum using the Pulse Channel. The technique here is a carbon copy of one posted on the LSDJ wiki. Um, here he just provides a link. I'll link it in the description bar. Where there are other examples you can follow. Yes, there are um, many kick drums you can make. You can use the Wave Channel kick drum um, if you you know choose. Um, there are, are a bunch of different kick drums uh, that you can make in other channels. Um, so. If you find yourself, you have already limited yourself on your Pulse 1 channel, you can make it in a different channel. But Okay, so that is your kick drum and the end of part 4. Uh, the next part is we're just adding our percu uh, percussion, our snare drum, and hi-hats. So I'll see you in part 5.